Here I have my inverse analysis. We see under the advanced, I have the inverse option set to yes. And I have large deflection turned on. I'm using a, a sector slice with the cyclic symmetry and have a fixed support and rotational velocity being applied. Taking a look at the result, we can see the inverse deformed geometry. Next, we'll want to go ahead and then drag and drop a mechanical model and then connect the solution to the model. And then we'll go ahead and update that. Go ahead, refresh the model. And we'll open that up. Now we see we have the deformed geometry. If I go in here, right click, export geometry. And I'm going to save that as inverse geometry. We'll save that. Then I'll go back to my workbench, drag and drop a geometry, open it in Design Modeler, then I'll go ahead, import external geometry file, choose that PMDB file, import that, click Generate. So here we have the inverse blade geometry and then for comparison I'll go ahead and import the original blade slice so we can go ahead and do that and now we can see side by side that we have the original blade slice and the inverse. Next we'll go ahead and duplicate this and then we will drag and drop this geometry over here. We will destroy the existing geometry. Click OK and then we'll go ahead and open up the model. Now we have the two geometries, the inverse and the original in the model. And we have name selection set up to automatically scope the low and high boundaries. I'll generate the mesh. And while that's going, we can take a look. I have a fixed support here, again using the name selection here I have the rotational velocity which is currently set to all bodies but we are going to leave the original blade just fixed in space as a reference so I'll take instead of all bodies I will look at which one my inverse is and we see it's that one so I'll click that go back and assign it to the rotational velocity now I will want to go back in here and turn off the inverse. So we'll set that to no. And then we will go ahead and see we have all bodies. But we can duplicate this and then just choose this one and say inverse and similarly for the original because this one should not move at all as we do not have any load being applied to it but it's fixed in space. Then I'll go ahead and solve the model. Once the model is solved we can take a look at our results. Let's we'll start with the inverse total deformation and we can see the original location and as a verification we'll look at the deformation which should be exactly the same of the original blade geometry, the ideal uh, geometry, and we see that that is matches up. So our deformed inverse geometry 
once it's under these loads, becomes the desired design geometry. And that's all for this tips and tricks video. Thanks for watching.